Okay, guys, look, I've just been sent the uh, the All-Star team, so I imagine there's quite a few of you that are going to be uh, keen to see if you've made it or not. So let's have a look here. We've got uh, Shane Baz. Um, just one. How is there just one? We're the best team in baseball. This is outrageous. Where's the commissioner? I'm going to call him. Hi guys, I'm Ozzie Villain and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers. It is season 10, episode 5. Today we're going to face the Houston Astros and we are post-All-Star break. An All-Star game that saw one Detroit Tiger getting uh, the call-up, which is outrageous considering we are one of, if not the best team in baseball. Shane Baz was the only guy that got the call-up. Uh, he's played obviously many, many uh, All-Star games before. It was his fourth. Um, so yeah, I mean, well done to Shane Baz. There's no, I mean, he deserves to be there, but surely one or two of our other guys did as well. So that's, uh, that was just a massive disappointment. Now there's a lot to catch you up on, so we'll get to things quite quickly. We'll do with how we've been getting on first. And to be honest, we had a little bit of a mini slump towards the end uh, of the, the, you know, coming to the All-Star break. We went and played the Twins. We only won one of three, and that one was in extra inning. Uh, you can see Seattle came to town, won the first two there in June. Over to July we go. We did manage a win. We then won two of three against Texas uh, before getting swept by uh, by the Yankees. Now, if we just go back here to game two of this series against Seattle, it did feature a uh, Keenan TB Grand Slam in the ninth. So we, uh, if we hadn't stuffed up the pitching at the end of the game, we, there was a chance for us still to win that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we came roaring back into it seven runs in the last three inning, but wasn't quite to be enough. Uh, there's everybody's hitting for this one. You can see Keenan there with his uh, four RBIs, a three for five day for Mendoza with two RBIs as well. And the pitching, not a great day to be a pitcher, this one. Uh, Barrera there was uh, was the start, and then we kind of let things get away from us a little bit late. But uh, that's okay. We've been doing really well. We can let one slip away this season. So if we look at the overall standings, we are still top. We have dropped below 600 now. Uh, so just the Yankees, uh, the Padres, and the Rockies that are playing over 600. Uh, we won four of 12. Like I say, it was, it was a bit of a slump. It wasn't great. Recent 10 uh, doesn't look fantastic. But, well, you know, it's still been a fantastic season for us, that being said. So if we go and have a look at some of the league leaders, obviously things haven't changed that much because we only played a few games. Uh, but Eke... He is up there now with uh, with 10 wins. Morales, 164 strikeouts. And Eknes Ek uh, is up there with uh, saves and pitching war. We have uh, Morales up there as well. A bit of a surprise Morales didn't get caught into the All-Star game. Now, he is suspended, which maybe had something to do with that. I don't know if being suspended does affect your availability for the for the All Star game, but we've moved him into relief just so that we had uh, Mario Black uh, had a pitcher ready to go because he's going to miss one of his uh, one of his starts. But uh, yeah, you can see everybody's uh, averages there and ERAs and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, still, the only two or three perhaps that have been disappointing. Olsen, who has been the quiet achiever of our bullpen for many, many years. He's having a bit of an off-season. Litwicky and Hines as well, maybe not having great uh, great seasons, though I think Hines is maybe having a better season than, although 10 innings pitch, maybe having a better season than what his, uh, his ERA makes it look like. But otherwise, it's nothing short of superb, everybody. That's just continues to be a fantastic season. If we're going to have a look at the hitting... And again, it's it's going quite well. You'll see that Rose and Vera are just in a little bit of a slump, um, which is fine. It happens throughout the season, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, for the most part, everybody is uh, is doing a good job. And I mean, it's not really uh, a standout. I think it was uh, Dave Mortram that was saying last the last episode that it's it is a team, and maybe that is why you know we didn't get the all cast all all star call ups even was because no one is that may be playing outstanding enough, but there's just a lot of, everybody's sort of doing their bit and it's making us, uh, making us win games that maybe we haven't done in previous seasons. But uh, certainly Troy Child was batting 320 was uh, surely worth a bit of a call up to the All-Star game. But anyway, uh, now well, there has been some other things happening as well. And the big one was to play a draft. Now, the International Amateur Free Agents happened. Uh, we didn't get the guy we were going after, so we didn't get anybody. But what about this for a first-round pick? He might well come into the team this season. Alex Corona. Um, yeah, I mean, we should call him the virus, shouldn't we, really, uh, is his nickname. But anyway, potentially brilliant. He's not a good He's not a good defensive shortstop, so I don't think he's going to take away Fernandez's spot in that sense. But certainly at second base. If he can play... Uh, actually, we might even make him a second baseman. If he can play 55 defense... And have that sort of uh, that sort of bat on him. Good base runner as well. I could not believe that we got him because we were we, we were sort of midway through uh, the, the the picks. So yeah, I think he could be a star as soon as this later this. I mean, he could have easily come into the team for today, to be honest. So anyway, he was our first round pick. 
Second round pick, we went with a third baseman slash left fielder. Uh, the only thing this guy really has is an arm. If we have a look at his ratings quickly here, you can see range and, and error rate is pretty poor, but he does have a good arm. So he's probably more of a right fielder in that sense than a left fielder uh, with the arm. But anyway, uh, decent bat potentially a very good bat so yeah he could do uh, quite well for us when we do eventually see now we've offered all these guys contracts obviously some have signed some haven't yet third round pick we went and got ourselves an outfielder uh, again potentially a very solid bat as well good base runner and um yeah the, the maybe has take card take has take charge potential but in what direction uh so we need to just kind of make sure that he is turning into a good egg and not a bad egg and looking at leading people down the wrong direction i'm assuming that means so yeah hopefully we get a professional out of him and uh, see how he gets on you'll see he is one that has signed fourth round pick we went and got ourselves a starting pitcher denny robinson uh hesitant to commit so maybe it's no surprise he hasn't signed quite yet but uh yeah very very good high school pitcher and yeah there's a lot to like about him as well and in a league that doesn't have designated hitters it's not the be all on end all but he, he does have a decent contact rating with the bat as well so that that could uh that could be useful for us Next round, we went and got another starting pitcher. Well, maybe not a starting pitcher. Doesn't have a great changeup, so he might turn out to be more of a bullpen pitcher, but the uh, scouting director liked him, so I kind of backed him on that one and, and went and got him. So hopefully, hopefully he uh, develops into a good player for us. Sixth round, we went back and got ourselves another outfielder. Very, very solid bat. This is all potentially, of course. And uh, yeah, a, a solid outfielder as well defensively. Good base runner. So yeah, he could turn into a very useful player. Seventh round, we went back and got ourselves another starting pitcher. Uh, the, the issue here is he tends to become complacent, lacks determination to make the most of his tools. So I don't know if there's sort of a way that uh, our coaches, because in football manager, you'd have the mentoring and try and sort of put him with some good pros and uh, and get that out of his system. But yeah, so I don't know exactly how that's going to work out. It says he's a closer right now. He's very much... Well, he's with a, he should be a starting pitcher or at least a long reliever. But we'll see how he goes anyway. Uh, yeah, potentially, as I say, could be good. Eighth round, we got Vinny Alfredo. Alfaro. Uh, let's go with Alfredo. It makes me hungry, though. Uh, not a good defensive player. Does I mean, if we is still in a designated hitter league, he would be the designated hitter, wouldn't he? But only 17, so we'll see if we can improve his defense. Possibly not, though. He's just not quite... Uh, he's like a little mini Vega, isn't he? And the final guy with, with good potential that we'll show you was our eighth, sorry, ninth round pick, Angel Soto. Uh, very, very good defensive. He's a center fielder, isn't he, with that range as well. Um, if these bat comes through to be something like that, he's going to be a very, very useful, uh, very, very useful player in the future. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see if we sort of get what we're promised here. But anyway, so that was, uh, that was the uh, major, major draft picks. Although I did notice, looking at Morales, and it, it is just worth having a look at how good Morales is, he was the 17th round pick, 533rd overall, and he's going to be a Hall of Famer if that's what uh, if that's what uh, ends up happening in his career. He has been absolutely brilliant, and we was we got him in the 17th round. So who knows what you're going to get, really? That's uh, I think that's the takeaway here, isn't it? Let's have a look at the All Star uh, All Star comings and goings now. So this was the way that voting ended up. Uh, we did have one or two that were there. If we go down and have a look here at center fielders, you'll see Childers was second in voting there. Uh, we did have Shane Baz fifth in uh, starting pitchers, and Espinosa was fifth among relievers. So just even based on that, it's a shame that at least one of those guys didn't get called up. I did post all this on the Discord earlier today, so if you want to have a bit of a longer look, uh, by all means you can do that. Uh, this is uh, this is the the teams that were called in though. So the National League we can see there. Uh, in terms of former Tigers, uh, Billy Sullivan there at the Yankees now got called in, and uh, I think there was one or two others if I remember correctly. Though I maybe do not. No, I don't see any others there. If we go down, have a look at the National League. And, uh, well, there we go. We can see everybody there. There were some Tigers here. Vlad Jr. obviously got called in. And uh, I think... No, maybe that was it. Unless I've missed somebody there. So, there we go. Those were the teams. Let's go and have a look at how the game played out. And it was a 3-2 win for the American League in this, on this occasion. Uh, if we go and have a look at everybody's batting numbers there, uh, you will see that, I believe, Vlad Jr., two hits, one home run, had a good day at the plate. So frustrating, isn't it, that we just couldn't... Uh, we, we didn't get that out of him, and then we weren't able to, to re-sign him either. 
and turns out maybe we could have and should have. But anyway, uh, we'll live and learn on that one. We've got a good team now. Let's be happy with what we've got. Uh, and Shane Baz, he pitched the first inning, two strikeouts, nothing else to report. So a good, a good outing for him there as well. But there we go. That is everything more or less caught up on. So let's go check these lineups as we begin the post-All-Star part of the season at home to the Astros. On your feet, Tigers fans, as our team of All-Stars takes the field. At first base, Octavio Mendoza. At second base, Jesus Lima. At third base, it's Jim Singley. The shortstop is Adam Wilson Fernandez. In left field, it's David Valdovino. In centre field, it's Troy Childers. In right field, it's Keenan TV. Behind the plate, it's John Cabazon. And tonight's starting pitcher is Shane Bass. Uh, this is it. So Troy Childers leads us off in center field. Valdivinos bats second in left field. Singley bats third at third. It is TB cleaning up at right field. It is Lemus batting fifth at uh, second base. Six is uh, Mendoza at first. Adamilson Fernandez, the shortstop, at seven. Canav uh, Cavanos even is the catcher for this one, bats eight. Shane Baz goes on the mound for us. We're up against Jack Flaherty for them. He has a 6-5 record, near a of five, a whip of 1.27. So that would suggest the ERA is maybe a little bit higher than uh, it should be. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Baz's is, uh, his uh, ERA is almost half. So let's hope that uh, we win the pitching duel and the bats will hopefully be able to do the rest for us. So welcome to Detroit. Estrada will lead them off batting 274. He's going to face the great man, Shane Baz. Um, we're still going on the back and forth with Baz over an extension to his contract. He wants $25 million for, I think it's four years. I will probably, probably end up giving it to him. Um, we'll have to have, uh, what I should do is have a look and see if there's any other free agents. As that's uh, looped into center field for a leadoff single, which is a little bit disappointing. And now comes Louis Vega batting 280 this season, a 2-0 pitch. And that is also looped up, but will be caught by, uh, I think that's Lemus, isn't it? Second base, yeah. Uh, so Jaden Hunt will come in now batting 258. That's an 0-1 pitch. And uh, runner at first with one away. And that is well hit into left field. Valdivanos gets it on the bounce. Keeps the runner at second. But what we don't want here is a repeat of Eke a couple of episodes ago. Where it was a terrible first inning. And then we were brilliant after that. A 2-2 pitch here. And then he's going to get into left field as well. Valdivanos, can he stop the run scoring? No. So the Astros take a first inning lead. Runners at first and second. One out for Kilbert Ruiz at the plate, batting 257, a 1-1 pitch. And that is into left field. Valdovanos barely has to move. That is two away. Runners stay where they are. And it'll bring Hector Soto in, batting 296, a 1-2 pitch. Can Baz finish off the inning here for us? It's a ground ball over to second, and we finish the inning off nicely. That could have been worse, just the one run. We should be able to deal with that. Troy Child is to lead us off now, batting 320 this season. Having a wonderful, wonderful... He was brilliant. Remember uh, rookie season, he was really, really good as he gets a lead-off walk. And then last season, his second season, had that sort of uh, second season slump. I think it's called a sophomore slump in uh, in the US. As Valdivanos pops it up into center field. But he's uh, sort of kicked on this season from where I thought he would from his rookie season. So that's really good to see. Singley now batting 272. It's an 0-2 pitch on him. Singley sends it into deep left field. It's going. It's going. It's it. out of here. And Jimmy Singley. A 15th home run of the season. It is 2-1. And 361 feet it flew. And that was enough to give us the lead. All right. Keenan TB with one out. No one on now. TB batting 257 this season. A first pitch swing. And TB sends it up into right field, and it will be a simple catch out there. Uh, in terms of coming up to the uh, trade deadline, as Lemus comes in now, batting 261. He has got his 500th career hit since last episode, and will make that 501. Is that going to leave Lemus? No, he has no power whatsoever. But he's got himself a two-out triple there. He could have just uh, stood up, didn't even need to do the big belly flop. So... Can we drive in a third run? It's his fifth triple of the season. Mendoza to the plate, batting 302 this season. It's a full count. 
And Mendoza strikes out on what looked like it might have been ball four. And, uh, well, we've taken back the lead, which is good. Holiday will lead them off, batting 274. But, yeah, in terms of the trade deadline, the only thing I'm considering doing is... Uh, that's straight to first base, and Mendoza makes the play. Aral Vera, who is uh, on 8 million, not really first choice right now. I'm thinking if we could get him out... Um, ideally, you know, for like a pitching prospect or someone that could down the line replace Shane Baz. Uh, and then we could bring in the Corona to basically replace Vera in the squad because they're very similar sort of players. But uh, yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. But uh, there we go. One, two, three inning for Baz. Much more like it. And Adam Milson Fernandez batting 242 will lead us off. It is an 0-2 pitch. And Fernandez strikes out. That looked like a uh, a good one too, although it said it was low on the outside. Cavados comes in now, only batting 180. This his non-base percentage is better than that, as he grounds it straight up the middle. Does he have? A, no, I thought he might have put that in a good spot, but no such luck. So Shane Baz batting uh, one, no, not even 0 0.9095 this season. It's a 2-2 pitch, and Shane Baz goes down on strikes, and that will send us into the third. Estrada now, 0 for 1 to, oh, 1 for 1 today, sorry, that's right, he got a little blooper into centre field, and he's got a walk this time, and Louis Vega now, who's 0 for 1, will come in, it's a 2-2 pitch, that is into centre field, Childers is there, 1 away, runner will stay at first, Jaden Hunt, who is 1 for 1, another 3-1 pitch, a ground ball, we get the runner at second, we get the runner at first, and that'll end the inning, Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, Childers will lead us off again. Walk first time around. A 1-2 pitch this time, and Childers into right field, but caught on the run. And that is one away. Valdevanos now, who's 0 for 1 today. It's a first pitch swing. Valdevanos sends it straight up. Third base is there. Shortstop is there. Third base will make the catch. And that'll be two down. In will come Jimmy Singley, who hit the two-run home run last time up. It's a 2-2 pitch. Singly, oh, gets tied in a knot, and that will end the third. So still 2-1. Kennedy comes up. He is 1-for-1 one one today with an RBI. Drove in their only run, a first pitch swing. And that is into left field, and Valdovanos will get it on the bounce. Uh, that's, I think, exactly what he did last time, the drive in the run, wasn't it? Uh, Ruiz comes back in, 0-for-1 oh today. Runner at first, no one out. 1-0 pitch. Ruiz grounds it to Fernandez, 1 Oh, just one. Maybe there was a better chance there for two, but either way, doesn't matter. One away, runner at first for Soto, who's 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch. Oh, it's a bit of a loose one from Baz. Runner goes to second. All right, it's a full count now. Can we sit him down? Come on, Baza. Oh, dear. No, it's staying in. TB's out there now. He's got a good arm, but the runner will go for third, and we'll get there. So two outs, the tying run 90 feet away for Holiday, who's 0 for 1. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Baz ends the inning. And we will keep the lead as we go and have a bat in the fourth. TB to lead us off, 0 for 1 today. A full count, and TB draws a leadoff walk. All right, Limas, who's 1 for 1. Hit the triple last time up, of course. This time he strikes out. And that is one away. Mendoza comes back up 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. There goes Lemus. Oh dear. Lemus not even close. So no one on 0 2 pitch. Two out. Mendoza. Oh, Mendoza is that leaving as well? Why did you try and steal Lemus? Octavio Mendoza clears the fence. 394 feet. It's 3 1. It should be 4 1. But I guess we didn't know he was going to do that, did we? Wonderful, wonderful piece of hitting by Mendoza. Opposite field as well. So Fernandez will come in now. 0 for 1 today. A 3-1 pitch. Fernandez draws a walk. And it will bring Cavanos back up, who is 0 for 1 today. A 1-0 pitch. There goes Fernandez. He's not the quickest, but he gets there. So uh, runner in scoring position. Can Cavanos drive him in? Oh, he can. That's going to drop in, isn't it? It is. Uh, Milson Fernandez turns, goes, and the RBI single from Cavanos makes it 4-1. And Shane Baz will come up now, 0-1 today, to try and uh, keep this two-out rally going. And he's got a piece of it. 
but it'll be out at second. It will end the inning, but two more are added in the fourth. It's 4-1 to the Tigers. And Willie Melendez will come in, or Mendez, I should say, who's 0-for-1. It's a 3-1 pitch. We are loving a leadoff walk, both teams in this game. Unbelievable. Oh, Baz is out. He's hurt his right leg. So Kyle Harrison will come in to face, uh, who are we facing? Flaherty, their pitcher. He's 0-for-1. He looks to lay down a bunt. It's caught, and uh, it was a bit of a waste there, wasn't it? So one away. Runner still at first for Estrada. And oh, we've picked him off at first. Excellent work, Kyle Harrison. Take a bow, mate. He's thrown five pitches and got two outs. And that is to center field. It's caught by Childers to end the fifth. So hopefully that Shane Vaz injury isn't too serious. I suppose if it is, it does make the decision on whether or not we would give him a new contract fairly uh, comfortable, doesn't it? The, real, the big reason why I'm sort of balking at it is because he is fragile. Um, so to give any, well, I mean, I always, I don't like giving any pitchers big contracts just because of the injuries they can get. But obviously at some point you do just need to sort of suck it up and, and offer contracts. But the fact that he's already fragile, aging, I just, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm balking at, but, uh, not a great inning for us there. And Harrison will continue to Vega, who is 0 for 2. It is an 0-2 pitch. And it is a strikeout. Now Harrison is no mug. I thought he was in our starting rotation to start the season. I thought he would he would do a good job as a starter, but turns out I mean Barrera is the better starter, and Harrison is the long reliever though. It's absolute money. Uh, ERA of 3.64 in, in the season to date. Another 2-2 pitch and another strikeout for Harrison. What an inning that was! And we'll go and have a bat. TB to lead us off. 0 for 1 with a walk. It is a 1-2 pitch, and TB has got all of that, and that should be a third home run. His 16th of the season, 417 feet. It is now 5-1 to the Tigers. And, uh, well, that little slump before the All-Star game hopefully is behind us now. Uh, Zuniga comes in to pitch for them. He array of him this season of 258. For once, we got the ERA out of the opposition pitcher. They didn't suddenly decide that they could pitch after all. There's a ground ball to the second baseman out at first for Lemus, one away. Mendoza, who hit a home run last time up. First pitch swing. Mendoza grounds it to the first baseman. He will be out at first for two away. And in now will come Fernandez, 0 for 1 with a walk. A 1-0 pitch. Fernandez again to the first baseman, and that'll do it for the sixth. But we've extended that lead a little bit further. It's 5-1. Harrison will face Ruiz. Now, if Harrison can get through this inning, he does bat next time around. So we could just do a nice uh, pinch hit and uh, get that over and done with. But he's hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard. Hector Soto comes in now 0 for 2. A full count. And that is up the middle. It's going to drop in. And are we asking a little bit too much of Harrison here to, uh, to take us through this inning? Tony Mosso will be pinch hitting, batting 283 this season. A first pitch swing, and that is over the top of the third baseman into the corner. It's going to score two. And what was, I oh, was just going to score one, but what was looking as though it was a wonderful outing from Harrison is just drifting away from him here. No one out, runners at second and third. And Sawyer will come in now. ERA this season for him of 266, but what he is not good at is uh, not letting in runners already on base. It's a 1-1 pitch. And that is into left field. That's going to drop in as well. And Harrison, his day is going from bad to worse. He ends up giving up three runs. It's now 5-4. And what was looking as though it might be a good, comfortable afternoon is suddenly very nervous again. And there's a double play. That helps things. And can we get away? You can see what I mean about Soya. Not good at getting out uh, runners that he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't uh, have responsibility for. Once those got in, he's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, let's stretch. Uh, it's a tight game again. It's 5-4. Okay, welcome back. Pitching change for them. Bryce Osman comes onto the mound. He'll wait for him this season of 257. Cavanos, who hit uh, uh, RBI last time up. He's one for two. It's a 2-2 pitch. And he's grounded that to the second baseman. Now, pitching slot is up. I wonder if we'll pinch hit with Zeon Rose, and then we can take... You know, Otani's going to pinch hit. Batting 222 this season. Come on, show hype. What have you got for us, mate? It's a full count. 
Otani strikes out. Two away. And in now will come Childers, who is 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Childers strikes out. So we go to the 8th. Like I say, suddenly it's a very close game. Espinosa comes in. And he's going to face Louis Vega, who is 0 for 3. That's a left-handed pitcher on the mound for us now. First pitch swing. And that is sliced away into left field. And it's going to drop in. I think Valdivano needs to take like five steps forward, doesn't he? Every hit of this is dropping in front of him. Anyway, runner at first. Xander Bogert is going to pinch hit. Batting 193 this season. A full count and a walk. This isn't going to get away from us, is it? This is like a flashback to Tigers of old, isn't it? That is popped up, I think. It's floating and floating, but TB's there, makes the catch. Runner will get to third. So one away. Runners at the corners. Ruiz at the plate, who's 0 for 2. We would love a strikeout, or even better than that, a double play. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. No, that's going to tie the game, and that's a little looper into right field. It's now 5-5. One out, runners at first and second. Soto comes in, 1-4-3 today. He has popped it up. Valdovanos is there. Childers is there. Two away. Runners stay where they are. Can we get out of this in a tied game? Mosso, who is one for one. It's a 2-2 pitch. It's well hit. It's Childers. And Childers makes a running catch. What a play from Troy Childers to keep the game tied. Valdovanos will lead us off. 0 for 3 today. It's a full count. Come on. Valdovanos gets it into right field for a leadoff single. The go-ahead run is aboard. In comes Singley, who is one for three. That one, though, was a home run. He has popped that up into foul territory. One away. It'll bring in Keenan TB, who hit a home run last time up. What can he do? First pitch swing. TB, that is out of here. Don't even bother. It is seven to five. TV with a second home run of the night. 437 feet. And it's nice to see Keenan TV back to a little bit of form. That was crushed from the moment it hit the bat. From the moment he let go of the ball, the pitcher, it looked like it was going to get crushed. And Lemus will come in now. One for three. No one on. One away. A 1-0 pitch. And Lemus will be out at first. It'll bring in Octavio Mendoza now. He's already hit one home run today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Mendoza strikes out. But we have the lead back. It is 7-5 going into the ninth. Then it'll be Josh Eckness to try and close out this mofo. In will come uh, Salas to the plate. He's one for one with two RBIs. It's a full count. Come on, Joshy boy. Let's see if he can add another save to that tally of his. And that is indeed a strikeout. One away. Edward Oliveres will come in to pinch hit, batting 232 this season. It's a 1 0 pitch. Come on, Joshy Boyd. That is, oh, it's well hit into left field. And it will be a double. Now, we don't necessarily need to worry about him. That run doesn't tie the game. The man at the plate, that could tie the game. It's Estrada. He's 1 for 3. It's a first pitch swing. It's popped straight up. Childers is there. That's easy for him by the standard of catches he's already made tonight. That is two away. And they are down to their final out. It's Lewis Vega. He's one for four. It's a one-two pitch. And that is going to drop in. And it's going to have runners at the corners. Come on, Eknes. Go ahead, run at the plate now. It's Xander Bogert who walked last time up. It's an 0-1 pitch. And we've tried to get him at first. But safe. It's a 2-2 pitch. Come on, Joshy boy. Sit him down. He does. And that was a game of baseball, wasn't it? Cracking, cracking game. 7-5 for the Tigers. So Keenan TV coming up big for us again. He is a very, very good player. He could play first base for us as well. We have obviously other good first basemen, but could he play anywhere in the infield? I mean, he really could, couldn't he? Anyway, he's not there. He's, he's here to play right field for us. And uh, what a player he has been. Two home runs there as well. That is a very nice return to form to somebody who was just starting to just starting to be questioned whether or not he should be in the lineup or not. But uh, he's answered those questions there, hasn't he? So if we go and look at the standings, that uh, is a winning streak back underway. We are 61 games away from clinching a playoff spot. And uh, yeah, we, we push a little bit closer back towards 600. And it's all going... 
it's all going very well again. Uh, but that will do it for today. If you've enjoyed that, that was a really good game, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. So uh, hopefully you did as well. We'll be back next time. We're going to come back for the game against Toronto Game 3 here. We struggle against the Jays. It doesn't matter who's playing for them. Uh, for 10 seasons now, we've struggled against them. So we're going to come back and see if we can beat them on camera. If we can, maybe it will be our season. If we can't, then... Um, well, nothing's changed really, has it? As I said, thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time for the Jays. Take care.